excited to talk to you about uh, a little more in depth about uh, uh, your Clerks 3 and your backstory in Clerks. So, because I think it kind of ties into the story of the movie, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's start with that. So, how, how, talk about the origin story about you get involved in the original uh, Clerks movie filming. So, uh, Kevin held auditions at the Atlantic Highlands of uh, First Avenue Playhouse. And I just happened to hear about the auditions through the grapevine because I was uh, in a, actually, I was in Red Bank doing a show at the time. And um, we were told we had to do an audition, uh, do a monologue. So I went in, I did my monologue. Um, it was kind of weird though, because it's like you saw these, there were so many people there, but it seemed like most of the people that were there were there to just kind of watch what was happening and not necessarily to audition. Mm. Um, and uh, I don't recall how long after the audition that Kevin called me up to come down to the convenience store, talk with him. He wanted me to take the script home read it, make sure I was comfortable with what I had to talk about. <laughs> yeah. And um, so, yeah, I, I took it to work with me. And uh, while I was sitting around doing nothing, because I worked in the salon at that time, I was reading the script and I, I was laughing and I was, I, I was totally in. Very cool. So uh, let's talk about the process of shooting. Was this like a straight shoot or you kind of just shoot on the weekends, you know, or? For the original? Yeah, yeah. It, it was a straight shoot. Okay. Um, I don't, because I was only there three or four days out of the entire shoot. Mm -hmm. So they shot um, all your scenes kind of then. Yeah, and they were sporadic. It wasn't even consecutively. Mm -hmm. um, there was only one shoot day that was during the day everything else was in the middle of the night for everybody um so that was a di little difficult and it was definitely during the week that i can remember um because i had to go to work the next day some of those days so um <laughs> it must have been pretty tired but hey yeah. <laughs> it worked out though very cool well very much um, i mean i always talk about the uh the experience of actually how it got picked up and everything like talk about the roller coaster you know it got screened at you know so sundance i believe right or the virtual yeah part. that was that was kind of, uh, uh, it's still surreal, actually, to, to some degree at, at this point, you know, 29 years later, 28, yeah. you know, um, because I was in midair on my way to uh, the festival um, and they had already had one screening. So by the time I landed and got there, I was trying to get my bearings uh, to the hotel, actually, we were all staying in a condo all together. So making my bearings there, trying to get in, then going to where I had to pick up my package of that had all the tickets and all the information for the shows and things like that. And as I'm walking around uh, the, the the town, I forget what town we were in. Um, Park, is it Park City? Park City, that's yeah. it. Thank you. I still haven't been um, but I want to one day. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'd love to go back. Yeah. Um, but as I'm even walking around, it's like people are already starting to recognize me. Really? <laughs> yeah. So I was just like, oh, wow, thank you. And um, it was maybe a couple, a day or two later that Brian then got in. But mm -hmm. Brian had shaved his goatee. So, oh, right. <laughs> so he was it's like we'd be life. walking. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be walking around and people be recognizing me and I'm like, and this is Dante. And and because nobody recognized him without his goatee. <laughs> that's so funny. Um, yeah, that, that's cool. You got recognized. So I mean, you know, so many classic lines throughout the original Clerks movie. What's like the one fans come up and say the most to you, like from your character? <laughs> Does... I, I mean, it, it, it's definitely the number. Okay, um... yeah. Okay, <laughs> <that's that one. laughs> yeah I mean, it's definitely the number um, in, in different variations. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> I, well, I'll give props to Kevin Smith 
you know, told you to read the script and be comfortable before playing the role, you know? I, I, you know. Yeah, but who, who knew that, you know, this many years later that, that uh, it would be something that many people were like, are you sick of it? Uh, it'll probably be, be on my tombstone in some way. I, I don't know, you know? <laughs> Uh, it's all right. Brian will have, uh, I'm not supposed to be here today on his. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> all right. So Clerks 3 is coming back, uh, or Clerks is coming up, and your character is coming back, which is exciting. So I guess what can you tease about? Because um, the movie kind of takes place or kind of ifs races like the, the filming of the first movie, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, it's like we had our premiere on Wednesday evening. It's now Sunday. It's like, yeah. it doesn't feel like it's even that long ago. Um, but it was so very well received and and looking at other interviews that I've seen Kevin kind of doing post uh, premiere, um, one thing that they all kind of talk about because this, for me, this is my first real premiere, if you will. I mean, I went to the reboot premiere, but this, this was mine, you know? Yeah. Um, and and Rosario as well was kind of saying this in an interview with 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 Kevin is like it's it's always very daunting to be at a premiere for your movie with people that you know you don't know how they're going to react because they're not invested in it in the same way mm -hmm. um but what was really nice that Kevin did is he had a lot of his fans or our fans I should say uh, that attended the premiere and so it was hitting the way that he wanted it to in the highs and the lows and, and everything in between. Um, and, and it was something to experience uh, seeing this for the first time on the big screen because I had actually screened it before mm -hmm. when he was showing it to kind of test, you know, the length and, and little scenes here and there. Um, and although I don't remember what was cut because it had been a while, mm -hmm. there were things that I don't recall seeing and I don't know whether they were in there or not. Um, so I, I think it's going to be one of those films where there are nuances you're going to pick up every single time you watch it that you'll oh. miss the first, second, third time. I even. love that. Yeah. Um, but as far as Veronica, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it's, 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 it's been said that, you know, we're recreating some of the scenes from the original. And so this is, this is one way that Veronica kind of comes in. And another thing that's kind of been put out there and it's like, I'm, I'm trying because it's like yeah you know, I know. Premiere, it's you like promote can't it, really but you say... can't talk about too much of it you know it's like yeah and I, you know it's like i put my foot in my mouth many times i don't need to do it this time so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so i'm very careful to, to, as to what i actually say but what i can say is what he's already talked about mm -hmm. and there's a particular scene that i am in with Brian that could have easily been cut as he puts it it doesn't move the story along but it is such a scene that I put my heart and soul into it and wanted to make sure that I really sh showed how much I've grown since the first one so I was very happy that it wasn't cut, but even though it doesn't move the story along, I feel like it shows some backstory mm -hmm. for Veronica to show well where she where has she been yeah. um, since the original. I mean, it's and it's very small and minor, but I think it's it's enough to kind of whet the appetite. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, Kevin Smith's doing a uh, Clark Street tour. And you're going to be, I think, what, the two or three of the dates? Well, I definitely will be here in LA, being that I live in LA. Yeah. Um, I will be at the ones that I can safely drive <laughs> to. <laughs> okay. Because, um, you know, 
I I oh, I so appreciate the fans. I really do. I love them all um, because uh, they've all been asking me whether I I will be there or not. And and you know, and unfortunately, it's 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 not in the uh, sense of that it can be taken care of because if they wanted all the actors to be there, then that has to be reflected into the price of the ticket. Yeah, exactly. Because they have to fly us all in and put us all up. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and, and un, or realistically, it's, it's kind of difficult because it's like it, some of those, it's like day after, you know, they're kind of consecutive. It's like, how do you, go to that many places, all this many people in that short of a time, you know, um, it, there might be one or two nights in between some of the, the screenings, but that, you know, anything more than that, it, it's determined. not. Yeah. Um, I know you've done a lot of con appearances. I've interviewed at a couple in the past. Um, is there any coming up? Are you allowed to talk about any appearances besides the tour or? So the only appearance that I have uh, scheduled mm -hmm. is uh, Galaxy Con in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, in December. Yeah, I think I saw Ed for it. It's like a lot of the cast is going to be part of that, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. Most of us are going to be there. Um, but other than that, I, I don't have anything scheduled. Hopefully, I can yeah. say yet. Uh, for people um, that can't make it to cons, do you sell any autograph stuff online by any chance or anything? I do. I do have a Square store, and I have the links on my Instagram and and Facebook. Very I have a link tree and uh, link. So. Yeah, yeah. I need to get one of those. <laughs> That's perfect. It's got all the links there. I love it. So uh, yeah, anything I else, know. Anything else you're allowed to talk about? Anything? About, anything coming up? You're allowed to talk about? For yeah. Us? So uh, the other thing that I have kind of going on is a few years ago, I was with, together with a group of uh, friends, uh, filmmakers and actors and all that kind of stuff, and and we were creating our own content and uh, we had a crowdfunding and. We didn't raise quite as much money as we had hoped to shoot eight short films, yeah. but we raised enough to shoot three of those. Unfortunately, right. it didn't leave us it didn't leave us money for post production though. Yeah. Um, and and we were crazy that we actually did three shorts in one weekend. On three wow, days. that's that's a lot. <laughs> that is, yeah. Yeah. That's a <laughs> but, long um, we kind of each individually, because there was one that I directed that one of the lead actors in that one wrote. <clears throat> and I specifically wanted to do that one. We all had to kind of take it upon ourselves to fund the post-production. And it took me a while because I'm a broke actor. Yeah. I don't want to put that energy out there. But anyway, um, I recently we were able to get a cut finished enough so that we can submit it to the Spot Castle Film Festival, which I found out actually the day of the premiere, I think it was, or the day before, that it got accepted. Oh, congratulations. Kevin's. That's huge. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, I mean, um, did some color correction. Right now, uh, it's in uh, some correction for sounds, fixing that up a little yeah. bit. Um, but otherwise, it's kind of ready to go. Um, but uh, very have cool. To get together well, hopefully with my that producers. does well, and it builds some more exposure. Maybe you could do a second um, crowdfund and get the other ones filmed. You know, it's a process. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. It's yeah. it is a it's a huge process. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Cool. Well, thank you so much for taking your time to talk to me, and uh, hopefully we'll thank see each you. other at some point down the road. Another, you know, I, I interviewed briefly with uh, Brian with Dante, slash Dante at the Entertainment Weekly. Yes, and that, that was great. Uh, yeah. So yeah, hopefully we do get to see each other again. And thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. All right, take care and keep up the amazing work. Thank you.